Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to use Notepad uh, to type in a C Sharp console application program and then run it from the developer command prompt. So uh, basically we are not using the Visual Studio development environment to run our program. Uh, here I have my Notepad and I'm typing in the program. Make sure all the commands that you type in in the Notepad are case sensitive because C Sharp commands are very case sensitive. It would throw an error. Uh, if you do not use proper uh, case sensitive commands using system and then any namespace because I use test1 and then public class test and then public static void main console dot right line please enter your name and then I'm using a string to retrieve the text console dot read line and then I would print the name main ends and then the class ends and then your namespace we're saving this file with a .cs extension I'm using test.cs save us type change it to all files and then save it alright so our C sharp console application program is ready now you have to open Visual Studio command prompt in order to run this application I'm using Windows 7 so that's how I open it okay you have to change the drive to uh, the right location where you have your CS file so I directly put it in the F drive and now I would show you if my C sharp file is in there or not okay so here we go test.cs that's where we have uh, our file and now I have to compile okay so that would uh, show me if there are any errors or not so the syntax is csc space your file name dot cs alright so the compilation went perfect and we don't have any errors and now I would show you a difference here um, after compilation our C sharp file it generates one more file that's test.exe you see this so there's um, something I would like to inform you here when a C sharp file has a main method uh, that's what we call the entry point after compilation it would generate an exe file but when your C sharp file does not have the main method and you simply have classes and other methods uh, which would be like it has some um, initialization or any message to print and you want that C sharp file to use it in a different C sharp file um, there after compilation it would generate a DLL file so that would be like test.dll instead of this test.exe and then um, that would be like um, you can use that file in another C sharp program suppose you have another program which has the main and you can use that DLL file um, like a shared assembly in your um, main um, application 
okay so here we have to execute this test file and the command is simply the file name without any extension and press enter so here it's asking for my name so I would just enter my name and it shows your name is Ranjan. so friends that's how we run a C sharp file using notepad and command prompt all right so that's all for today and I'm gonna put more videos where I can show you how to use a shared assembly or how to use a DLL file in um, um, a main method application okay thanks for watching have a nice day